Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the skin on the Harrier and technically every other aircraft in the game. This method was discovered by Top Fighter, who is a part of our Tiny Combat Arena modding community Discord. The link to that will be in the description. So, first off, what you will need. You will need to go ahead and get this right here. The... Um, the UABEA release. I'll have the link to the download here in the description. So once you download that, go ahead and make sure that you back up game files that we will be editing in this. So once you have it downloaded, simply go ahead and launch it. In this case, UAB, UEB, I'll just launch it. So launch the application. You may need to also install Microsoft.net. So if you do, that's what you'll do there. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go file open. You're going to go to wherever your Tiny Combat Arena install is. In this case, I am using a backup copy of the game so I don't modify the original arena data. And you're going to go to shared assets 6.asset. Once you open this up, simply sort alphabetically. You're going to scroll down until you find AV8, AV8B, um, and it should be a dot. Let me find it here real quick. You're going to be looking for AV8B palette, which is this file here. You're going to hit plugins. You're going to hit export.png. Now you're going to save it. So in this case, I'm going to be saving it into the folder where I've been doing all my modding in here. So we'll save it there. Next, we will go to that folder where we now have the resource.assets. We're going to go ahead and open this with paint. You can use anything, GIMP, uh, Adobe, just anything you want to. It is a very small texture. So all we're going to do is go into here and we are going to grab, in this case, I want to use the color blue. We're going to go and grab the color blue and we will use the square tool here. Rectangle, no outline. Grab the rectangle tool if it'll let me grab it. Make this also blue as well. And we can just kind of go square by square. I don't know why it's not actually working. Come on, paint. You're the one thing that isn't supposed to fail me. Oh, because I have no fill, that's why, okay. So now that you've got this, simply just go ahead and adjust the size to whatever you feel is good for this case. In this case, I'm going to have to kind of put it up in the corner like this in order to kind of get it to work. So we'll start by putting a dark blue over this gray, over this color here. Now we'll go ahead and we'll grab a lighter shade of blue. I should have done this the other way around, so that way I could have gone. Yeah, so we'll do that real quick. Um, swap that like that. We'll re go ahead and remake the farthest out square. Put that back there. Now we'll go ahead and we will grab another shade of blue where we'll make another two squares. Or we'll make uh, one square that can go here. And we'll have to redo that other shade of blue. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab this color here. Remake it right there, plop it in, go ahead and hit save, close out paint, go back to asset viewer, go to plugins, edit the texture, okay. Now you're going to click load, find the palette resource, it should be the first one there, hit save, file, save this. You're gonna save it resources, you're gonna save it to where you've had it this whole time. We can now go ahead and close this out, which you'll need to to replace it. Go back to arena data, Grab the resource.assets that was saved. Replace the file in the destination. That's why you should uh, back up the resource.assets or use a backup copy of the game. Now you're simply going to go and launch the game. Once we are in, we'll just go and load into a free flight here. Where we'll now go in third person and there you have it. As you can see, there's the new colors applied to the Harrier. I hope you all enjoyed, have a wonderful day, and uh, feel free to go ahead and join the community where we are 
creating a massive amounts of mods. Anyway, have a good one.